Inuka is setting in his new home very well. Um, the new home is very much bigger and much more um, enriched compared to his previous one and uh, is at least four times as big as his previous um, exhibit. And uh, not only that in terms of physical size, but it is got much more features for him as well. There is an area where we can put in different type of substrate, sand, gravels for him to, to scratch. And then um, there, there is also a very big, a very deep pool. And they are not only the biggest land, um, mammal, land, land carnivores in the world, they are also very much known as a marine mammal species as well. So they love to swim, they swim long distances, and we have a very big pool, very deep pool to allow him to swim as well. To build an enclosure for polar bear, we have to meet certain standards. Uh, basically, we're following Waza, World uh, Zoo and Aquarium uh, standards to make sure that the size is big enough. Uh, not just size, but also it has to be an enriched environment, which includes large body of water, areas where the bear can dig, and uh, as you can see, there's also air-conditioned areas that the bear can uh, retreat to if it gets too hot. Yeah. Uh, in addition to the animals' needs, we also want to look at the visitors' needs. Uh, that's why we also you see the, the viewing gallery is actually air-conditioned to create to have visitors uh, to have the impression of, of, of an immersion experience where they can feel as if they are part of the same habitat as the bear.